Churches are considered places of refuge for troubled souls. They are also known for taking a stance against injustices such as apartheid and human rights abuses, among others. IPHC members behind the United African Transformation Party say Abel Tau's departure has had no effect on them and that they will contest the 2024 elections. United Africans Transformation was legally registered with the Electoral Commission of South Africa in accordance with Section 16A of the Electoral Commission Act of 1996 on the 15th of November 2022 to contest elections at all spheres of government. We want to emphasize and stress the point that UAT is not for the church. UAT is for the community, members of the community, sharing common vision, who want to address their basic needs at their communities, irrespective of church affiliation. Meanwhile, it's unclear if former Chief Justice Mohueng Mohueng is still forging ahead with his political aspirations. He formed the All African Alliance Movement to be the voice of African indigenous spiritual structures and civic organizations at the end of his term. South Africans had different opinions about churches entering the political arena. Oh yes, I definitely support my church in terms of entering the politics because the church that I go to, they actually abide by the law, the church laws. Before supporting it, uh, I will have to look on disadvantage side and advantage side. Political analysts say the support for church affiliated parties by congregants is not guaranteed. The support that people get from the church should not be equated to the support that one might get when he or she decides to form a political party. South Africans belong to different churches and different religions and they support their, uh, their religious leaders. And when it comes to political party choice, they still have their own political party choices. UAT says its 500 active branches will soon take part in a manifesto launch before next year's elections. Offense Estimo, SABC News, Pretoria.